Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today is another tutorial, another Final Cut Pro tutorial. So I've been uploading a bunch of simple Final Cut Pro tutorials for people who are getting started or thinking of switching from another editing software. So keeping up with that, this is another just simple tutorial we're gonna talk about today, how to keyframe. So jumping right into it, we're just gonna keyframe this photo. So if you see here, uploaded this photo from the flash from Barry Allen going into the speed force and we're just going to keyframe this photo. I want this photo to scale or shrink or whatever. If you want to keyframe that movement and you're wondering how to keyframe into Final Cut Pro, if you don't know what keyframe is, maybe you <laughs> need to look that up. I'm not going to go over what keyframe is in this video. If you're already thinking of using editing software, you probably already know what keyframe is at this point, but we're just going to keyframe this simple photo because so, I want to scale up and get bigger. So we're just gonna go ahead and keyframe this photo. So get into it. So you got your photo, I got my photo here on the timeline. Have it selected and I want to get bigger. So I have my scale here, right? I want it to slowly get bigger. So look here, it's at 100%. So it's 100%. Now what I'm gonna do is when I want my keyframe to start, so I'm gonna place my cursor in the timeline. So see here, you got the cursor. I'm gonna place that here at the beginning of the clip. So I want to go ahead and keyframe scale all because I want it to get bigger, right? So I'm going to keyframe scale all. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit this little little diamond button right here that says add a keyframe if you see there. So you hit this little diamond button next to scale all because if you don't if you don't hit scale all, it's only going to scale the x or the y axis. So let's hit scale all. Boom! And you see it's going to hit all three of these yellow. So now your keyframe has started. So at the beginning, my playheads at the beginning of the clip, keyframe is now added. All the boxes, all the little diamonds turn yellow on the scale all and scale X and scale Y. I'll go to the end of my clip and let's say I want to drag it up to uh, 125. If these do not turn yellow once you move the scale, that means your keyframing is wrong. That means you did something wrong when you're trying to set the keyframe. So these should turn yellow as well. All of them should turn yellow once you after you move the playhead, after you do your first keyframe, when you move the playhead to the to where you want to keyframe to, and you hit scale all and you move it, those should turn yellow as well, let you know your keyframe has worked. And if you want to check it, why well, you just go back to the beginning of your clip, hit play, and now you can see my image is moving. Boom, I just keyframed the image to scale up. Same thing if I want to do anything else. So if I wanted to keyframe this down or let's say I want to keyframe the position as well so same thing got the little the diamond right here next to scale say so I want to move it let's say I want to move it up or down so I hit the, the yellow on the keyframe where my play is at the beginning go to the end of my clip where I want the keyframe to end and I'm going to so I'm gonna move it to the left boom my keyframe is now done so if you hit play it's gonna scale up and move to the left. So now I keyframe position and scale. You can do that with any of the other video properties here. If you see here in the crop, you have scale and the distort, or in the crop, you have keyframe and the distort tab, you have keyframing. So you can keyframe anything in your video effects tab to a myriad of options. You can have a myriad of different keyframing options, but again, Put, you put your playhead where you want it to be, hit the keyframe button, set whatever setting you want, go to the end of whatever your clip is, and you don't have to hit the keyframe button again. You do not, do not need to hit that keyframe button again. All you have to do is adjust whatever you want to adjust. And that's it, it's keyframed. Now, what if you want to adjust the keyframe that's already put on the timeline? All you want to do is hit control, V that's going to bring up all these options on your timeline on the clip or picture you put here on your timeline. So you got transform all, you got trim all, all this stuff. So if you see here, I have my keyframe diamonds right here on the timeline. So I can, if I want to start the keyframe later, if I want to move it around, I can move it around, but I got it at the end point and the beginning point. But let's say I want to move it and I was like, nah, I want to stop it midway. So what I'm gonna do is I move that keyframe. Now if you see here, if I hit play, it's gonna move a lot quicker. 
hit it, stop. Now it's, it doesn't go the full clip length anymore because I've moved the keyframe over. So once you set a keyframe, you do not need to, and you wanna redo the keyframe, you do not need to delete the picture, start over from scratch, re-keyframe, all that kind of stuff. You can always hit Control V, it'll pull up your menu here all on your timeline and you can go ahead and adjust your keyframe points here. So you can adjust your in and out points on your keyframe right there on the timeline. Super easy, super simple. You can drag them around from the beginning to the end and it just makes keyframing so easy in Final Cut Pro. Keyframing is not very, very difficult in Final Cut Pro. That's it. Keyframe tutorial is over. Simple, right? So now, if you're doing wedding photography and you're trying to put together a collage or you're doing like a compilation video, you're doing a video presentation for work, anything like that inside of Final Cut Pro, now you know how to keyframe images and pictures and videos and stuff to move, transform, scale, get bigger, get smaller, move left or right, distort, all that stuff. You can keyframe anything inside of Final Cut Pro. If you want to keyframe out your own transition effects, you can do that if you want to use your own transition effects. If you want to keyframe um, any kind of titles, anything like that to make your title come in and out, that's a way to make your own titles just for, for them to come in and out with keyframing. So keyframing can be used in a myriad of options, super easy to use. Take you all of two minutes, not even two minutes, two seconds to keyframe something up. But that's it, keyframing done. Keyframe tutorial over, that's it. If you haven't watched the other tutorials, click those, get subscribed, hit like. Let me know what other tutorials you wanna see on Final Cut Pro. More of these will keep coming, so stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is NBDC. Peace.